Um, hey, this is Keith Tobias at Bona Fitness with one of our parents, uh, Tommy. And today we just kind of want to talk about the progression of what happens when you invest in your baby. Uh, Tommy's son is what, a junior? Uh huh. He plays what sport? Baseball. Baseball on scholarship. Yes. And so there has to be some reasonable amount of doubt in a parent's head. It's like, why am I investing all this time and money into my baby? So let's 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 talk about it. He probably been playing baseball since he was how old? He started playing baseball at five. At five. And then so did he end up playing year round ball? Did he end up playing he other started, sports? How did he do it? He started playing year round ball at age uh, ten. Okay. Several different um, what they call select teams, mm -hmm. and uh, went into the scout league teams, and now he's playing college ball. Kind of progressed from there, and so now you're kind of seeing a dividend of your investment. Yes. You know, that's what sometimes I think parents forget, and we have a lot of conversations with parents and athletes that that what happens when you make that investment is now you got a kid whose habits are almost perfect. So so when he gets to college level, they don't have to recreate those habits. And so, and so that's the part I think parents forget. So let's talk about speed and agility stuff that he did along the way. When did he start? How often did he do it? He started. He started as a freshman in high school. Is when he started putting the guys through a prep class, which uh, lasted through the fall for the baseball players. Okay. Um, about 90 days at a couple of little gyms, uh -huh. stuff like that. Um, several times a week, up to five times a week when they became a senior. So it, it gets a little bit more serious to prep them for their high school and college days. It does. And, I, and, and sometimes I think parents forget that what coaches and scouts are looking for is not always the best player on the field. It's a lot of times it's the, the kids with the best habits that have already been created. You know, whether you were talking about baseball now, even football, you know, or, or his hips turning properly, you know, he's making proper contact with the ball, all the fundamentals in place. That's correct. And fundamentals only happen through practice. You know, you know, practically we say perfect practice makes perfect. And so those are the things that I encourage parents to look for in camps and trainers and speed and agility programs. And those are some of the things we're trying to create through Bona Fitness, through some of the things we have going on and even our program here at Frozen Ropes. Um, and obviously he's not here to speak for himself, but, but when did it get to the point, and every kid has this, that they're a little resistant? You know, do I got to go to practice again? Do I have to go to camp again? Where did it get to the point that, that it kind of took over for himself? Well, he's always wanted to play baseball. He's always wanted to play college ball. Um, when, I mean, we never really had any resistance as him going to practice or anything when it had to do with baseball. Uh, probably around a when he was a junior in high school, he kind of backed off just a little, put on a little bit of weight, and then when it came down for workouts, it was a little bit rough. <laughs> now, it being on a college level, I mean, his junior college coaches started speed and agility two months early. Right. They had to be prepped in August. They would show up in August, and they were running on a runway. That's right. In a hundred degree heat. That's right. So these guys, I mean. When they look at it, if they stay in shape year-round, it's much better for them. It is, and it's smarter. And what happens on a college level is, is you get graded and tested. And, and if they don't perform up to par, they get extra work. And so eventually you get motivated enough to make those things happen just because you don't want to do any extra work. Um, but parents, you know, that's our message to you today is, is that you're investing into your baby's future. You know, not only for their safety, not only for their performance on the field. You know, another aspect I like to pay, tell parents to stay aware of is that there's a certain level amount of stress that your baby's already under performing. And, and when they're in condition, they actually take one variable out of that stress level. So you take a child under stress, you get it later into the game, no matter the sport, and now they're tired. And so performance automatically affected from being tired. You know, they say fatigue makes cowards of us all, and it's, it's so true. But now all of a sudden they're in condition and things start changing on the field and, and, and when did you start seeing that probably from your son's perspective? He, uh, again, his his downfall was his junior year. Uh, when he was coming a senior, he had to work a little harder. Right. Um, we started putting, I mean, he had been seeing a, a hitting coach for probably five years before. That gentleman right there kept him straight. Right. And he saw him starting to fall so he picked him back up. But as you get, I mean, as these kids go through their stages, 
you know they lose interest because right. some some parents push them real hard. Right. And it's not really what they want to do. Right. But once they figure out that there's an out. And this is what, what happens is, I mean, they start talking, you know, they can go to junior college. Right. They can get on a scholarship. Right. They don't have to go to these big name colleges. All they have to do is promote themselves. Once the kids and the parents figure out they don't need all these guys paying out the money just for them to make a phone call that they could do. Right. They film them, make sure everything's right. Right. And that's what you send them. Because, I mean, that's what we did for him. We, we promoted him ourselves. You know, all you have to have is the right person to tell you, hey, it can be done. Right. And it's a lot less, I mean, it's a lot less cost with these kids. And, it, you know, when you're looking at it, you know, he has to have just a couple of hundreds over somebody else to make that 90-foot run. That's right. And that adds to his stolen bases. That's right. I mean, when you're taking a look at a place like Frozen Ropes, increasing his hitting potential, he led, at one point in time, he led the nation in doubles. Very cool. So, I mean, it was well worth it. When you see the numbers and the stats, you know you did it. That's right. You did the right thing. That's the only thing. And that's all a parent can really do for the baby. Put them in the right situation for them to be successful. And and now as competitive as all the sports are, you kind of need the edge. You know, at Bona Fitness, we want to help create that edge. And this is one of the programs we have at Frozen Ropes for Speed and Agility. There's also some things going on in our main location in Katy. Tommy, I want to thank you for the interview. And parents, if you've got any questions, visit our Facebook page at Facebook slash Katie or email us at bonafitness.com.